Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from around the world. My name is Alan. Uh, my website here, wallstreetteasystreet.com. And today is uh, May 22nd, 2014. And I just wanted to go over some of my charts with you today for uh, the month of May. So far, since I've started this new methodology back in August of last year, uh, my total for uh, 10 months is 319%. So not too bad. Um, April was a rough month there, 168 pips. Um, we go here to my trading day, and my current total for the month of May is 198 pips. So have a couple of good losses in there, and uh, that's where I'm at. So now I want to take a few minutes to go over with you some of the trades that I've made so you can get a good understanding of exactly what I do. Um, I'm not a professional trader. I'm a home-based trader just like anybody else out there so hope you enjoy uh, looking at some of these charts and seeing how I managed to scalp a few pips out of the market every day all right before we get started with the charts I wanted to show you how I keep track of my trades there's software that you can buy there's companies out there that'll track your progress for you I believe in keeping things simple so I do it all myself and I just use a spreadsheet here and what I look at on my record keeping is the day I made the trade the trade number the type of trade it was whether it's win loss or break even number of pips that I made and I also include a note in here on some of the trades if I think there's something important that I want to I'll be able to keep track of when I look back at the charts. I take pictures of every single trade that I make the moment I close the trade out. So I have a really good visual reference to why I took each trade. And you can see in here a lot of the different trades I've had. The first break trades have done real well this month. Uh, that's kind of unusual. They've been one of the worst trades in the over the last several months. But here lately I've done real well on those couple good news trades in here um, if you look here this trade here is classified as a break-even I took two pips on it and also here I have a win that I took two pips on and the difference on those is whether or not I'm closing the trade to get out or whether or not I'm closing the trade because I'm hitting my profit target so in this case my target was only two pips on this test trade whereas here I had to close that trade to get out and that's all I do really for my record keeping and I have it make a graph over here this is what I post on my web page that I keep updated for everybody to see where I'm at and that's all I do I really try to keep things as simple as possible no sense paying somebody else to do something I can do myself um, okay so over here to my first chart this chart here was a range break and I have marked that um, it was over a euro holiday so I wasn't really looking for very big moves and basically I had drawn this box out here and I drew the box out once we got to this level right here when this candle hit the same level and bounced up this long black candle and I extend the boxes out so I can watch the price action as it bounces around across my box and what I was looking at here is I took the trade to the short side and closed out over here this one went for three pips which was not bad being it was a European holiday all right this trade here this was taken uh, for non-farm payrolls and basically I trade the spikes um, typical on my news trades is I'll spike I'll, excuse me I'll fib the one minute bar and then I'll um, trade a fib retracement off that but sometimes I just get the uh, impression of which way I think the markets gonna go and I'll jump in a little bit early because I've been doing news trades for a long time and I've got to work and read them really well and that's what I did in this case here um, I don't recommend news trade new <clears throat> excuse me I don't recommend news new traders start out uh, trying to trade the news they you'll lose every dime you have takes a lot of time and practice and chart reading to get good at trading the news 
But with that said, this is where I went short at. I closed down here for just um, a few seconds later for 35 pips. So that was probably one of my best trades of the month right there. All right, this one here, this was basically another news event. And I took this trade here to the long side. And basically I'm waiting for news to come out. And once I get the uh, news release and I know which way the market's going to go, I went ahead and took this one as well. Made 23 pips on that. So again, when you're new starting out, you should avoid uh, news events at all costs because you, you will lose the majority of the time and you'll lose big on those news events. Um, I do well, but I've been trading these news events now for three years and I've gotten to where I can read the markets really good. Sometimes that's what it takes is just a lot of time and a lot of chart reading to really get proficient. All right, what we had here, this was a block break. Basically, I had this little block right here. And I took the trade down to the short side. And I let it pull back quite against, you know, against me quite a bit on this one here. Typically, I don't do that. I'll close the trades out ahead of time. But I decided to uh, go ahead and give this one a little bit of room. So when it come back down to this same area of support, because you can see we hit this little support, this little V bottom, I came back up, come back down again. And once we got back down to this support area, I went ahead and closed the trade out. And as you can see, I took 24 pips on that trade. So that was a, another pretty good trade. All right, this one here had uh, two profit targets on this one here. And basically, my first target was here at three pips. So this trade here closed out automatically for three pips. And what this was, was you can see the markets trending higher, higher highs, higher lows. And we pulled back again. I've got this little block right here. And basically, I had the couple doji candles and decided to go ahead and go long and closed my first target here at three and my next target was actually up here at six pips but once I market pulled back here and I could see that it's not going any higher I went in and closed the second half of the position out here for one so overall that trade was pretty well good trade All right, this one here, this trade here was basically a uh, another little block right here, a couple doji candles here, and we market had come up, pulled back, and once it started to trade higher again, I went ahead and went long for three pips. That was my profit target on that was only three, and I know a lot of people, they like to hit those home run trades and get... 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 pips, 200 pips at a time. Uh, those can be pretty rare in, in a Forex. You can make a lot of pips just by going 3, 6, 9, 10, 12 pips at a time. And that's what I do, and I make a couple hundred pips a month. All right, here again we had... The market starting to move down and I took this little range break here to the downside so I went short right here covered the position right here this was a six pip trade so that one there again went real well Okay, this one here, we were trading, of course, to the upside. You can see that we're getting some higher highs and higher lows in here. So we're, we want to have a, like a long side bias. And this was a first break setup where the market had pulled back really fast. I got the doji candle here, and I went long on the first bullish bar. And so this is where my target was, or my, excuse me, my entry. You can see I got a bad fill, but... That's the way it goes sometime. And the market came up here, 
Now, I'm also watching Time and Sales, and unfortunately, I can't go back and show you what Time and Sales was doing at the time. So, basically, I got this candle here started to form this little doji candle here at the top. And I'm watching Time and Sales, and the market slowed down to almost a complete stop. So at that point, I realized it's not going any higher. It's time to get out. So I went ahead and closed the trade. Took seven pips on that one. And there again, it takes a lot of a lot of time and a lot of uh, studying charts to get really proficient at scalping. Don't expect to get be a professional overnight. It does take quite a bit of time. And this next chart here, this was the same trade. You can see this is where I got out at and the market went ahead and traded down and had I stayed in it any longer I would have had to close that trade out for a loss so there's a lot to be said about being able to read price action and I recommend start studying your charts as much as you can spend as much time watching the market move it's boring but it's got to be done if you want to be proficient at trading Okay, I hope you all enjoyed my uh, charts today. And feel free to stop by my website here. This is my personal trading journal here. And keep track of my progress. And hopefully you can learn to be on your way to being a profitable trader. Good trading, everybody.